Hello, Daddy. It's just been like a little tough. Wait, oh my God! No. This is so good. You have to make it. Uh, wait, really? No. Five, four, three. Feeling that I am pregnant. Maybe I'm not. Maybe this is gonna be just a video of me taking a test, which is fine too. Because I do believe that things happen in your perfect timing. Okay, so for the last couple of months, we have been trying. That first month, I was just so convinced that I was pregnant, and to find out that I wasn't was pretty disappointing because I was like, how could I be so wrong? How could I misread everything? Like, I was getting night sweats every single night, really bloated, getting cramped, going crazy, thinking, well, maybe this is just implantation bleeding. When I got my period, I was like really trying to hang on to some hope there. It's January now, I have been having night sweats like every night. I just feel different. But then I'm like, yeah, but I felt like this before and I didn't get pregnant. I'm just trying to get my hopes up or anything. So, okay, <sighs> let's do this. I just took the test. It came out pretty fast. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I never cry. The line is like really faint. So I don't know if that means anything, but there's a line. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to the midwife. I got blood work done. It was actually supposed to be my annual women's exam, which is funny that I had this appointment this week. We didn't end up doing the exam because she said, if you are pregnant, I do not want to touch your cervix. And we did blood work, so she just sent me this text. It's confirmed. I am going to go back in like four or five days to just see if the HGC levels rise. I'm honestly like relieved because I was getting really bad night sweats like every single night, like for the past week. And of course online it says you could either be A, pregnant or B, going through menopause. So I was like so terrified that I was going through menopause and thankfully I'm not going through early menopause. I am pregnant. So it's like, oh wow, such a relief. I, I have like glitter all over me because I'm putting away Christmas decorations right now. Don't go online and read those things. And like, I know that and I tell people that and then I still go do it. Sometimes you just like need an answer right away, but it's not the answer you want to see. That's for sure. So I'm going to surprise Josh tomorrow. I know he knows that I'm acting funny. I'm so excited. And then just go on this journey with him. Like this is insane. Okay, so I told Josh that it's his birthday. I, well, I thought I'm getting him a birthday present. I'm like so nervous right now. <laughs> I'm getting him an early birthday present. And um, so that's why I have it wrapped up in like a little birthday box. But I'm gonna first be surprising him with a trip to Park City, which I had planned before to stay with my friend. <sighs> so he'll open up the card first, get that, and then he'll open up the onesie. So he's like doing dishes, so thankfully he can't hear me. I'm like so nervous right now. like. So nervous so okay here we go okay okay uh, all that for <laughs> this wait oh my god <laughs> <I'm> nervous <laughs> back your bags we're going to oh you have to you have to scratch it out oh park city what hey, this is so exciting <laughs> Wait, babe, really? I had a feeling. I, wait, really? No. <laughs> go. Wait, let's go. I had a feeling. Let's go. Let's go. I knew your boobs were bigger. Wait, really? Whoa, that was like, it works. You're an amazing mom. Oh, you filmed it? Yeah. That is so exciting. This is the cute little car that I got him. It said pack your bags and then he scratched it off to find out where we're going. Definitely threw him off. It did throw me off, yeah. <laughs> it was a pleasant surprise. This is the little onesie. Hello, daddy. One of the books that I'm reading right now is Real Food for Pregnancy. And what I love about it is that really complimentary to what 
I kind of already have been doing reaffirms everything that I've learned and have changed about my diet. A lot of the principles of HMG that have helped me and attribute to, I think me being able to get pregnant so quickly. I'm gonna be making the grass fed beef meatloaf. And the main reason why I'm making this is because it has liver in it, which is extremely nutritious for anybody, but especially to pregnant women who need organ meats. It has vitamin A, D, K, E, it's vitamin B. Like everything that you need is in liver, but I cannot stand the taste of it at all. I do take liver capsules. I try to eat it frozen. Sometimes I'll put it in a smoothie with raw milk and that still tastes pretty disgusting. <laughs> I put a few drops of stevia and I just down it as quickly as I can because I know it's so incredibly good for me and now my baby, which is crazy to say. They say that it should cut the taste of the liver, so it's both beef and liver. So let's see how this one turns out. So I've enlisted Josh for a little help here. He's doing a great job. We had to put the liver in the blender because it's really hard to chop, I just found out. So now I have the onions and stuff going on in there. So we're gonna mix it all and then we're gonna put it in a nine by 13 baking pan and then put it in the oven for an hour. Here we go. Wait, not yet. No, that we have to put the onions in. Let's see how it turns out. So this is the final creation. It does not look pretty. I guarantee that it is so delicious. Definitely an enjoyable way to eat liver. This is so good. You have to make it. Yeah. We're pregnant! <laughs> Can't wait to meet you. Yeah, and Papa! September! Yeah. Awesome. Wow! Congratulations! <laughs> Jacqueline has some news. Are you pregnant? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. And I have a little announcement. Oh! oh. 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 We're pregnant! Oh. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank Promoting to daddy. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. Jackson is pregnant. I'm pregnant. Jackson is pregnant. You know what's in my tummy right now? A little, a baby. A baby. Yeah. Say hi, baby. Happy. Mine's so very tiny. It's the size of a blueberry right now. I just hope that blueberry is a girl. What should we name her or him? Um, Jackson. 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 Oh, you got it. Oh. <laughs> we just boarded and we are on our way to Park City now for Josh's birthday. I was a little worried. I don't know how I was going to feel this morning. I had a 
liver smoothie. I actually feel pretty good. I'm not feeling too sensitive to smells because I have been lately. So I think that it might be doing the trick. What was your liver smoothie? It's raw milk, strawberries, frozen raw liver, and some honey. I gotta be honest, it's not the best. I plugged my nose. I know this is like the absolute best thing for me and the baby, so I downed it. Sometimes you just gotta do things you don't like doing, even though it's the best thing for you. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for being here. We have complimentary champagne inside for anybody who cares for Simon who's of age. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Yeah, for the record, this is not for me. Yeah, that's for me. <laughs> the famous s'more bar. Where do you get this? Stick? Classic oh, cranberry oh, mint oh. coconut elderflower. They have an elderflower yeah. gin. Woo. We are. I like uh, it. I like it. Where, guys, Fiery. This could be on. Uh, yeah. it. This could be on Instagram. For oh, okay. S'mores out here, Josh. Uh, oh, that's a good bite. <laughs> out here at the montage doing the s'more. Okay, we're here at the montage bowling alley for Josh's birthday. A little surprise for him. pregnant I'm not gonna lie I'm struggling it has been pretty tough I consider myself to be a really strong person I don't normally say that I'm struggling I figure out a way I do feel a little overwhelmed with it it's just been like a little tough just the smells and just being so tired yeah it's been tough it's been really tough not being able to enjoy food and i hate the way everything smells and i just feel so unproductive and i'm trying to do my work i don't feel like doing anything and i just wonder like you know how long is this gonna last i don't know why i'm crying so much now anyways so yeah it's been definitely a struggle the other day i did just like use a plug plugged my nose and just took some steak down and I did feel better after I had like so much more energy because people are like oh listen to your body but my body's not telling me to eat anything <laughs> right now so it's very confusing I've made it to week 11 I do feel I just feel a lot better thank 
God <laughs> because I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it through there. I'm not exercising nearly as much as I was before. I'm still pretty tired. Like going on a walk for me is like, a lot of work like i feel exhausted after it is a little crazy to just see my body change but I, I i get to let go of a lot and just surrender to this process find the joy in the process it is a beautiful thing to just watch the body do what it knows best that my body's like was born for this. I will be doing a maternity fitness plan, which I'm super excited about. I'm just so grateful that you guys are here along with me. Okay, I am wearing the dress that everybody oh, voted yes, on. Well. Today's the big, Should big day. We've got our little voting board here. Let's go find out. If it's pink, then it's a girl. If it's blue, then it's a boy. Okay. And we have to help Josh. And we have to tell me what color it is. So he's color what if it's like, what if it's green? Or what if it's Ten, Amy nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to work out with me if you haven't yet. Love you so much.